What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. What's going on? This is a very personal video. Um, I'm going to keep it real short and sweet because this is a question that I've been getting asked a lot. You know, a lot lately from my loved ones, from friends, you know, some of you online, a lot of you online for real. Um, and yeah, I think I, uh, I'm ready to address it. You know, it just took me a while to, I guess, kind of work the courage up and um, even just find the time, you know, and, and the relevancy to it. But it's very relevant because now we're going into the next season, right? The pandemic is over, um, at least for most of us, you know, mask off, just like Future said feels good to be outside we outside you know what i'm saying you know what i'm talking about <laughs> but um yeah i feel like now it's it's a relevant topic and if you don't know i have retired from the game of basketball this is a a very tough decision to make because right now i feel like i'm in my athletic prime i feel my strongest i feel my best i jump my highest I have the best mobility and durability right now at 29 years old. And to walk away from the game that I love and has pretty much drove, drove me to some of the best things in my life, to the friends, um, to the allies, to the places that I've been. My talent has, has taken me there. God first and my talent second. But I gotta put the game down, you know? Um, it's a question that a lot of people ask me, you know, are you still playing? Are you going to play? Why not? What's going on? What's your next move? You see, when the pandemic started, it slowed my life down, guys. You know, I think it slowed down your life, too. Um, for the first time in my life, I wasn't in season or off season. It was just all about taking it day by day and seeing what happens. I hate those things. But, you know, just about taking it day by day and, you know, seeing what happens with, you know, the whole situation. Is there going to be a vaccine? Is there not? Is Are we going to be outside? Are we not? Like, what's going on? You know, we're all in this limbo um, of a time during this pandemic. I'd say probably like around the spring, we kind of knew what was going to happen, right? Um, but yeah, man, shit. I played over in Niagara. You know, I had started the OnlyFans account. I started monetizing um, my socials. Um, I started, you know, doing well for myself through social media because I had time. And again, it slowed my life down and I had an opportunity to game plan. So that's what was happening for me. And I played in Niagara. That was a dream come true. That was a, a program that I definitely want to play for. Thank you, Niagara. Big shout out to you guys. Anybody that's watching this right now. Um, and I played for little to no money, you know, and I guess I can talk numbers right now because it's been put behind me. I was probably one of the lowest paid guys on that team. And if I was still in my my pride, I wouldn't have took that job. You know, they were paying me dog shit money, you know. But I took the opportunity because that's what I wanted to do. And I felt like, you know, I'm playing for the love of the game and not for a check anymore. You know, I figured out how to make a check, you know. So that's what I was playing for. And during my time in Niagara... I'm not going to say they drove me out of the game, but I kind of saw what it was and I, I got tired of it. I got tired of politics. I got tired of, you know, people getting opportunities because for whatever, you know, I'm not going to get into all that stuff. I don't want to step on any toes either, but I got tired of being put in situations like the one I was in where I wasn't in control of my destiny. Ultimately, like it was all about politics and who liked who and shit like that and for the first time through social media i was in control you know you guys respond well to my content if it's good if it's good content it's good content straight up and if it's not good content then it's just not gonna get the likes it's not gonna get the shares it's not gonna go viral it's not gonna get the comment and that's that and that's what i really enjoyed the most about being a social media influencer the fact that if it's good it's good playing basketball there's so many athletes there's so many people trying to do this shit that it's like even if you're good you still might not get the opportunity if you don't got the politics in this game you don't really need the politics in my opinion you know so shortly after that um you know some time went by and, and i got a couple offers to play 
I'm all over the world, you know, in Europe, um, South America. I was getting a lot, you know, my agents were hitting me up telling me, you know, you should try it out. And now I sat down with my agent and I said, hey, man, I don't want to do this shit no more. You know, something just came over me. I just, I, I just, I gave him a call. I, no, he gave me a call, actually, you know, he gave me a call and he's just talking. And then it got to a point where what he was saying was like, blah, 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 blah. You know, and I was like, hey, man, look, I don't want to do this shit no more. I just, I just hung up and I'm not quitting. You know, I just feel like there's so much more to me and there's more that God has in store for me and I can shine through with my talent in another way instead of playing professional basketball. So I'm officially retired. Who's to say I would never go back to the game? Maybe I will, you know, but as of this season, I will not be playing basketball. Um, that's by choice. And I think some of, some of it is mutual as well. You know, there's, there's a few teams who, you know, they pulled out offers and they said they didn't want to deal with me, obviously. And I, I don't take offense to it because, you know, the game, um, is very impactful for children. And I mentioned this before. I do not consider myself a role model. I do not. I would, I would not tell your kids to be like Grandy Glaze. I would not tell your kids to follow my path. I would not tell your kids to do things the way I do it. I've done things differently. I got to where I'm at. And it's not a fucking fantastic place, but where I'm at is a place that a large percentage of men want to be at. You know? A large percentage of men want to be where I'm at right now. And I got there in an unorthodox way. You know, I didn't get here off of, you know... Well, I did go to school, <laughs> yeah. but again, like it was everything that I've done has been unorthodox and I would never tell your kids to be like me. So teams would say, hey, you know, we can't take this guy because of what he's doing online. I completely understand. I'm not upset about that. But if you think I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing and it's working for me so you can pay me dog shit money, you're crazy. You're crazy. I I'm not going to go play to keep a dream alive. I'm not going to play for an image. I'm going to play by whatever game that I need to play by and play by its rules in order for me to not only survive, but for me to thrive. And that's my, and again, it, that's a mentality that a lot of people don't have. And it's a mentality that people don't understand. And it's a mentality that I feel like, you know, parents would look at me and say, we can't have this guy around our kids, you know, because everybody's mindset is, you know, my kid's going to get a scholarship. My kid's going to go to college, be a one and done, or play four years and go to the NBA. That's not going to happen. Or vice versa. You know, my kid's going to go to school, get an internship, get a job, and pay bills and tax until the day they die. You know, a lot of people don't really have their own path. And I, I have my own path. And I, I'm not going to explain my path, you know. But those of you that have been around, you've seen it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got my own path, and it's different. I've always done Anybody that knows me knows that I do my business a little bit different. But it works. You know? So, unfortunately, I got to close the path of playing professional sports for now. We'll see what happens, you know? And I'm going to try other things. And right now, trying other things is working so just want to make that announcement it's pretty inevitable for some of y'all that didn't know but i wanted to just answer your question and tell you why i'm retiring from the game of basketball and we'll see what happens next guys take care of yourselves take care of each other you already know where it is youtube